Hey guys, welcome back to Bait and Tackle. Um, today, I've got a package from Do It Molds. I am in the process right now of changing out all of my old Essential Series cast aluminum molds to now CNC molds. I'm just not a fan of the finish of the baits. They're not that great, they're kind of rough. And with the CNC, you're gonna get a really nice smooth finish. So let's open this up and see what we got, and I'll show you what I mean with the difference of the, the two types. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now that I've been doing this venture for a little while, um, I've kind of figured out that, you know, what types of molds I really like and what I really want to use going forward. So I've got another package of molds coming. I'll do another unboxing video on that will be from AI molds. And um, I think I've got another one, one coming from a different, co another company as well. So it'll be nice to compare some different companies with how they make their CNC molds. But this is, this is very exciting. I'm, I'm very excited about this. So I just want to show you guys what we got. We got two 7-inch Lake Fork lizards with ring tails. These are very similar to the Lizard Bait 7-inch Essential Series mold. Except they're CNC, not cast. Look at that. Oh man, that's gonna make one sexy bait. I'm drooling, guys. I'm absolutely drooling. That's gonna be awesome. I went ahead and got two of those. But if you compare them, like you can compare that to this. And you can see how rough the the rough the cast mold the cast aluminum is compared to the CNC where it's nice and smooth. This one actually has some ridges on it to make give it a little bit of a design. But these will be nice and smooth, not rough like what it is before. So for an example, I haven't poured the new one yet, but the old bait looks like this. But if you look at this bait real close, you can tell it's very rough. Now the heads I dipped in plastic to keep the eyeballs on it but it's very rough, like the actual finish itself. Like even the paddles, the body itself is just, is just pretty, it's just rough. So it doesn't look as, as good as like that head, right? See how dip, that, that's dipped in plastic, it looks pretty decent. As opposed to a CNC mold, like this is my Helgramite one, but see how smooth that is, see how shiny it is? That is a CNC mold, so. That's, that's the kind of difference you're talking about between CNC and cast aluminum. And then I also got two of the three inch rippers, which I had the three inch ripper essential series mold that I sold, but again, it's cast aluminum. So it's very rough. So I got rid of that and I went to these. Now I actually have these already in the four inch size. Rather than keep the Essential Series molds, um, I'm getting rid of the, all those and I'm going to these CNC's. I had a gentleman actually reach out to me about the fours and he was saying that he was having some issues like in the body section where you get dents and then like some small air bubbles and stuff like that. And I haven't really looked into it too much yet, but when I pour these, I'm gonna try to make some adjustments and see if that helps things or not. I, the one suggestion I made to him was to heat the molds up first that may make a big difference. And then the other thing was to try to get as many of the air bubbles and the moisture out of the plastic before pouring them. So throwing it back in the um, vacuum chamber, even when, that's, when the plastic's hot, is not a bad thing to do before you start actually injecting those. And the last one that I've got here is another one of these 4.25 inch flipping hogs. Um, these guys are great little flipping baits and I got rid of my beaver bugs, again, essential series, and I, I've got one of these already, and I'm just gonna, I got a second one so I can do two at a time. All right guys, just got done heating up some 
um, recycled plastic and I'm gonna try injecting both the old essential series mold so I can show you what it looks like the finish and then I'm gonna go ahead and inject the um, new CNC mold so you guys can see what both of them look like so like I said this is just some some recycled plastic that I had laying around just to make sure I get enough plastic here okay there's the essential series okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and prop this one up against this other guy shoot it slow because one thing I noticed the last couple times I tried shooting this mold um, it got a lot of air pockets in it in one specific spot so I think what it was doing was um, I hope that fills okay so I'm just gonna let this kind of hopefully stay there balance there we go and we'll let those settle for a few minutes. I know it's kind of a backwards way to doing it. So what I've got to do now is I've got to build a wooden um, angled frame just so that I can put these new CNC molds on them. Because what I've noticed is even the um, flipping bait that I have, the flipping bug, it tends to do that too where it gets air pockets in a certain part of the bait. And in this one I did a better job because I did lean it forward. See those air bubbles right there? So on one side of the bait only, what was sticking up, that was the only thing that got the, the air bubbles in it. And uh, the lizard itself was doing the same thing, but um, when I tilted it up and shot it again, no air bubbles. So that worked out well. So I got to make a little platform to get the baits up. Okay, so let's. This is the Do It Mold Essential Series. These are the ones I'm getting rid of, and I'll show you why. I'm gonna zoom in on this so you guys can see it, but you probably can't see it from there, but do you see how rough the finish is on that bait? See how rough it is? It's just, it's not smooth at all. It's just, I mean, it, it's okay. I mean, if you can deal with it, then deal with it. But I'm just not a fan of how rough that that is. Because this is cast, because this is cast aluminum, it leaves that rough edge in there. And I don't know, let me see if I can get this up to you close enough where you can see it. But yeah, see how rough that is in there? See that? Right there? That just creates a really crappy bait. I mean, it's just, it's not crappy, but it, it'll work. But it's just not smooth like I want it. So now we're going to go ahead and undo the CNC mold. Let's see if this one turned out okay. I, I don't have that I don't have that angle block yet, so this is going to be kind of difficult to hopefully pour with no air bubbles. Oh. Okay, so again, this one has ridges in it, and I don't know if you can see that well, but let me see if I can zoom in on that. But this one has ridges in it, so it's made to have those ridges, but it's smooth. So even the, the legs are going to be smooth. So let's, let's see what this one looks like. But I think you can tell already, look at the difference and how shiny this bait is. You see it? And I got a little bit of a dent there, and again, that's because of that whole not having an angle, and I, I kind of pulled it out a little hot too. So, but see that? You see how shiny that is? And let me, I'm going to put them both in my hands so maybe you can see them both together. But do you see that? you see the difference? This one's just really rough looking, and that one's got that nice smooth, high gloss finish. That's what you're going to get in the difference with a CNC as opposed to an Essential Series that's cast mold. 
But again, cast mold's not a bad thing. You can get by, you can, you can still make baits with this. But I just prefer to have these. They just look really sharp. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. I am trying to get to 250 subscribers. When we get to 250 subscribers, I'm going to do another one of those big giveaways with a video specially catered to the giveaway. And I'll probably feature some of these molds. Some of these baits will be made from these molds that, I'm, that we're looking at here. So if we can get it done in the next like month or two, perfect time for everybody getting some good plastics and good baits before the seasons start cranking up the summer. So thanks for watching guys and remember keep on baiting.